Good morning, my Aries. How are you cutie pies doing? We are doing your reading. It's Wednesday, I believe. Yes, Wednesday, hump day. Um, let's get this done. I have a tarot of Dreamscape Tarot for the main deck. I have Tarot of the Abyss for the clarifying deck. The links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. I'm um, just trying to make it easy, not my decks, but trying to make it easy for you guys to go and find them. And as always, Aries, thank you so much for your support this past year, for all of you who are watching and for all of my new viewers, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're liking my vibe and Harry the Capricorn's vibe over there on the Ottoman, please feel free to like and subscribe. All right, Aries, I just wanna get into this. Empress Reverse, Four of Wands. Now your birthday season has come and gone, right? For This Four of Wands, which is your card, feels like the birthday card. Well, it feels like it because it is. It's actually um, happiness, security, um, joyfulness, you know, a, a celebration, 11-11, twin flame, all of the above. But it's supposed to be a happy card. And they depict a, a birthday on the scene is because that should be the happiest day on earth for you. But then we have the Hierophant reverse and the Two of Cups. I feel like some of you Aries could have had a breakup blowout on your birthday. Um, Empress reverse, Nine of Cups reverse, and the Temperance and the Ace of Cups. And now Aries, how the energy works, if you probably know this, is this could be you feeling this way towards someone else. This could be someone feeling it towards you. That's how energy is. Some people watching could be a cross watcher feeling this way towards an Aries. Um, so how I'm feeling the most, how I'm honestly feeling when I see these cards is maybe you left someone behind. That's just what I'm feeling, it really is. Empress Reverse can be somebody really, really uh, sad, depressed, lost in their feelings because we have a nine of cups reverse right below that they want to put this back together temperance card ace of cups yeah, that's what i feel all right aries sun moon rising venus if you are an aries know an aries feel like being an aries well aries i'm so glad you're here but you could be an aries and this resonates or you can be dealing with an aries like that's what i was saying you could be dealing with an aries and you could be the main watcher look at the fool starting over let's bygones be bygones uh but aries could actually be the cross watcher here so take it as it resonates general energy and i know a lot of you come for love but sometimes this could honestly be about a friend it's it's could be it could be friend work family there's all kinds of energies that float around us what is this card we have the high priestess reverse Somebody is about to reveal something. That's what I got with that. What Cancerian energy, what's influencing the High Priestess Reverse? What's influencing the High Priestess Reverse? What's influencing it? The Justice, Libra and Cancer here. Two major arcana right off the bat. I feel like you're about to find out something. What's the reason for the reading? Somebody wants to make it right. That's what I feel, reason for the reading. And the ten, Queen of Pentacles with this glare. I couldn't tell if it's ten or queen. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. What's in the past? What's in the past, Aries? What's in the past? The Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups flipped. Piscean energy. Lovers underneath that. Queen of Wands is under that. But then the Ten of Wands and the Four of Wands. Maybe it was hard to get it to something substantial. When the beginning states, the feelings are there, the passion's there, but maybe it didn't progress into like a full-blown type of relationship. What is on your mind? What is on Aries' mind? That is the question, isn't it? Oh, that's a lot of Aries. What is on the Aries' mind? What is on the Aries' mind? The Knight of Cups love romance dreaminess queen of pentacles at the the down here uh capricorn energy high priestess reverse and the justice and the ten of cups are you about to reveal your feelings to someone or someone about i feel like now this feels like you you have feelings that have been a secret and you're about to uh spill it what's in the near future for my aries what's in the near future what is in the near future the devil <laughs> are you dealing with a capricorn perhaps i mean just because we have it both here the devil but do, it doesn't always have to be toxicity and uh, some of you and i if you would go back in hundreds of my readings 
catch how many times I say twin flame. Go ahead, because I'm not a big believer in twin flame. But when I feel, whatever I feel, I have to say it. It doesn't matter if I believe it or not. Sometimes I get feelings from wherever and it has to, it's like I'm a vessel and it's coming to you. But this definitely could be some type of twin flame connection, which is really just a soulmate connection, a strong bonded connection. It doesn't always have to be toxic, but it can be a bit it can be obsessive, but it can be obsessive on both parts. It's not one, just one person. It could be a, I mean, it, it's a lot. It's just, a, it's intense. How about that? Intense. Let's see what's going on, Aries. Let's see what's going on. I, high Priestess Reverse, though, I just feel like you're about to find something out. If this is if this has been a connection where the love is there, the passion's there, but it's been a ten of wands and trying to get a progress forward, I think you're gonna find out why here. Maybe because the queen it could be somebody who's married. It could be somebody saying, "Hey, I know I'm with somebody else, but I just can't quit you. I can't get you out of my system. They can't. I. That's what I kind of feel. They can't get you out of their system. What is this high high priestess reverse and the justice influenced by the justice for Aries and the six of swords? What's the Six of Swords about? Air Aquarius energy. What's Six of Swords? That's, I mean, it's moving on to positive, like calmer shores, but I, maybe you help this person and the Magician reverse. I, that's the first thought. I don't feel like this is a reading where you are, I mean, I guess if you had a breakup around your birthday and you moved on from them because you felt powerless to get that off, off the ground, Definitely. But what I feel like bonded you here in the first place is you, you brought something to this person. I feel like before you came along, Gary's, their life was kind of like, you know, like, you know, like a lifeline, but it was kind of flat, monotonous. And you brought something to them. You brought passion. You opened their eyes to another way of being. But I feel honestly, there's a third energy. I do. And they weren't, totally leaving that energy and I feel like you probably had to move on to get them to wake up to how they really feel what's the queen of pentacles reason for the reading it is the emperor reverse remember it was the empress reverse now the emperor reverse and I don't feel like either party's winning by you going away from this person I I think we have two very sad energies because I do I have a feeling it's whoever I'm reading for I think um both people are kind of obsessed with one another, another, but one probably moved on. What is the Ten of Cups or trying to move on? What is the Ten of Cups in the past? What is the Ten of Cups in the past for my Aries? And the Ace of Cups. Ooh, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Again, strong soul connection. I, but I, again, I feel like you brought something to this person. It's kind of like, um, it sounds cheesy, but like baptism, like a rebirth, renewal. I just feel like before you, it, their their existence was like black and white, like the abyss here. What is this Knight of Cups on um, Aries' mind? Piscean energy. What is the Knight of Cups on Pis Pisces, on Aries' mind? Knight of Cups. Three of Pentacles reverse. That's interesting. So, you know, three of pentacles, when you look at this card, sometimes holding on to something can cause you a lot more damage, especially emotionally than letting go. And I feel like it was too hard. Emotionally, it was just so hard to hold on to this person because you were constantly aware of what you can't have because I feel like they were with somebody else and they weren't willing to leave that person for you. So you had to let go. And that near future that uh, we'll get there. But I feel like this person just has other issues as well, though. What is this Three of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Cups? And the Knight of Swords reverse, which is getting clear and cutting something out that probably caused you a lot of stress because Knight of Swords is a lot of momentum. It's a lot of energy, but it's not defined necessarily. It's like somebody who rushes in without thinking about something first. That's what I feel in this relationship. You could have been ready for a relationship, but this person could have been tied to someone else and they rushed in and made you believe that something could happen. I feel like their feelings are there. I think your feelings are there. I think their passion's there. Your passion was there. Maybe I want to say was, because maybe you, you've been doing a lot of healing work, but I feel like where you let go, I don't think this person's let go. I think they're, this is definitely obsession. That's the word I got with this devil near future, near future. 
Why Capricorn near future? Why the devil energy in the near future for my Aries? What is that devil energy? And the Ace of Wands, they want to start over. They want you back. They're not ready to lose you, Aries. Ace of Wands and the devil. What is that? And the star. I'm telling you, this is a really clear storyline. Page of Pentacles, they want you to forgive them. They want to talk to you. I, for Eight of Wands, they want to move on from this. Four of Swords, heal this. I just, uh, yeah, I, I, they want you back. It's a very clear storyline. So some of you, this could have had a fallout around your birthday. And it, you know, for I just got, maybe it wasn't this year even. Maybe this person has had a time to un tangle themselves from whatever currently are banned. Maybe they do have some type of uh, to toxicity problems that they're dealing with, like addictions. Um, I just think they've been working on themselves, but you are the person they want back. See how it's reaching out. I feel like this trying, person's trying to reach out to you. Um, this Nine of Cups is interesting on your mind, though. Are you already with someone new is the question. You might be. Some of you Aries might be. Some of your Aries are still connected to this and you're in something new. Some of you Aries are connected to something else and this has kind of always been in the, it'll always probably have a place in your heart, but you just, you know, you, you're you you're no fool to, to try this again. I'm, I'm not saying you are, I'm saying that maybe that's what you tell yourself is just, I mean, what is that once bitten twice shy kind of energy? All right, my Aries, have a fantastic rest of your week, and I hope you guys have a great, 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 great weekend. See you, see you later, guys. Take care.